Hello, my name is Tony. I'm a teacher here um, at Osovatero, which is an English language school in Chelyabinsk, Russia. Uh, we obviously teach English and we teach grammar and vocabulary, everything, but it, it doesn't always have to be boring. And quite often we try to make lessons interesting and fun, even sometimes funny and strange. So today I want to talk to you about two, two topics. Firstly, uh, we have names for uh, people who are from different parts of the United Kingdom, uh, different cities, and different, the different countries of the United Kingdom. And also we have names for people from other countries. So, let's start with me. I am from London. People from London are Londoners. The second biggest city, slightly bigger than the third biggest city, is Birmingham. And Birmingham people are not Birminghamers, they are Brummies. So what I want you to do uh, for the next uh, lesson is to try and find out what the names are that we give for people from Manchester, Liverpool and Newcastle, who, well, sorry, which are three of the next biggest cities in England. The United Kingdom is England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. People from Scotland are quite often referred to as jocks. It's not offensive, it's not rude. In fact, some people from Scotland even name their children, if it's a boy, jock. So they are from Scotland, jocks. But what about Wales? What about the Welsh people? They have a nickname. And what about people from Ireland? Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. Ireland is a separate country. But I Irish people in general, we have a name for them. And then we have other countries. We probably have names for people from other countries, more than just these three which I put on the board. But these are ones which we commonly refer to. Ah, the French people, they are often called frogs because they love frogs' legs. But what about those from America, the United States and Australia? What are the names, nicknames that we have for those people? So that's the first topic. The second topic is uh, this word, slang. Slang is a very informal uh, informal part of the language to do with speech. Uh, when we speak, often we might use slang words. Uh, they're not square words, they're just very informal language. Uh, which could be by different groups of people, could be different people, uh, people from different parts of the country, could be different sections of people, it could be uh, words which uh, are used and then go out of fashion and are not used. So sometimes words come in and out of fashion and are used uh, for a period of time. And one form of slang is this here, Cockney rhyming slang. Now, Cockneys, Cockney plus S, uh, are a group of people, part of the people from London. Sometimes incorrectly, people from outside London call all London people, Londoners, Cockneys. It's not strictly true to call all London people Cockneys because traditionally to be a Cockney you have to be born within the sound of um, church bells in a particular part of East London called Bow. I'll write it here. 
So if you are born within the sound of the bow bells, you are a Cockney in East London. And they have a very peculiar uh, type of slang called Cockney rhyming slang where they can speak to each other and replace a word with another word which rhymes. And to a lot of people that don't know this rhyming slang, uh, it is extraordinary. They can't, what on earth is this? An example. I fell down the apples and pears and landed on my loaf. This means I fell down the apples and... No, I fell down the stairs, because stairs ride with pears, and landed on my head, because it's loaf of bread, head. Head rhymes with bread, but we just sometimes hear them say the earlier word of loaf instead. It's extraordinary. So sometimes it's an earlier word which is said in the phrase, and then they then leave out the actual rhyming word. So loaf of bread becomes head. Loaf. Head, loaf of bread, loaf. So, that's one example. I can give you many more examples which try to uh, research and find the Cockney rhyming slang definitions. And I'll write several on the board for you to research to be given the answers in the next lesson. Okay. Um, what is trouble and strife? That's the rhyming word. Next one, uh, I like a Ruby Murray, what's that one? Oh, let's put another one, and Rosie Lee, so I'm underlining the rhyming words. Here, yeah, an easy one. I was speaking on the dog and bone. Easy. Give you an example of one where we uh, use an earlier word in the phrase, not with the actual rhyme word. Uh, have a butcher's. Here you need to find out what the phrase is and it rhymes with a different word. Have a butcher's rhyme. Um, uh, okay. You have big plates of meat. Okay, one more, and we'll save some for next time. Uh, often People are used as the, the rhyme. What about this? British Prime Minister? Tony Blair. Tony Blair's. What does it rhyme with? Okay, so those are you, uh, those are several Cockney rhyming slang words for you to investigate and we'll give you the answer in the next lesson. Thank you.